Because I think I think really seeing the you know, the, the breadth of the similarities r really drives it home that all, all the features, you know, all, pretty much all the features in Okta have identical features in, in Azure AD. Um, so, so, you know, just, just going through all, all the different features of Okta. So Okta has an, an active directory agent that you use to sync between Okta and Azure AD. Azure AD has Azure AD connect, which, which is near identical. The, the setup and installation and functionality, you know, admin experience, what they do is, is near identical between those two things. That's um, the tool that goes on the server that syncs the domain controller with the cloud. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. So it takes all the all the users and groups and and passwords from your on-premises traditional Active Directory environment and copies them over to Azure AD or or to Okta uh, via, via basically the same same mechanism. Um, so there's there's Okta Desktop SSO. This is what gets you uh, single sign-on from your Windows domain joined computers. So if you're on a, a Windows computer joined to your domain, you don't need to enter your username and password at all to, to, to sign into Okta. It does it seamlessly. Azure AD has Azure AD seamless SSO where it works identical. In, in the background, they, they work exactly the same. Uh, there's, there's no difference there. Um, I like this feature because when I sign into my Windows PC and I open a browser, all the things tied to my Azure AD account are just automatic. So it's, it's real convenient as far as using it as an end user. Yep, absolutely. Uh, and then there's a feature called Okta Delegated Auth, which do, does real-time authentication against Active Directory. Azure AD has Azure AD pass-through authentication. I, exact same functionality, exact same, uh, exact same feature. Um, the SSO applications, like you talked about before, that's one of the driving things. A lot of people go to Okta so they can integrate their their sign-in with with a lot of different uh, third-party uh, SaaS applications. So you can sign into to Salesforce and Dropbox and all these other things using a single set of credentials. Azure AD obviously has the, the same functionality there. So, so both Okta and Azure AD can integrate with third-party apps using SAML, OpenID Connect, WS Federation, uh, Radius using an on-prem agent, and they can also use SKIM protocol for provisioning into third-party apps. So these are all um, th these are all open standards for uh, integration be between apps, and Okta has all of the same features of, of Azure AD. So they can both integrate with all the same apps. There's really no application out there that can be integrated with Okta that can't be integrated with Azure AD. Uh, any app you have, uh, if it can be integrated with one, it can be integrated with the other. I have a question on that. So I've seen uh, a lot of customers that pick Okta. They love having that portal where a user can log in and see all the little app icons like an iPad. Does Azure AD have that as well? Absolutely. Yep. Yep. The My Apps portal. So if, if you're going into the regular Office 365 portal, you can see all your apps from there. Or there is a, a dedicated My Apps portal, myapps.microsoft.com, that you can go to, which will you know list all of your apps in the tile view, very similar to what you see with Okta. Uh, so then to move on, there's there's uh, Okta Secure Web Authentication or or SWA SWA that we hear a lot of customers talking about, um, which, which basically what it does is if you have a, a website that doesn't support those different protocols for integrating uh, SSO apps, uh, it basically uses a browser extension to store your password and then automatically fill the password for you. Um, Azure AD has a similar feature called Azure AD Password Based SSO, so they both work exactly the same, very similar setup, very similar function. Uh, so then there's Okta Verify, which is the actual mobile app that you install on your, your mobile device to, to authenticate with Okta with, with MFA. Um, Microsoft has Azure Authenticator, near identical apps. They really look the same. They, they function the same, same enrollment and setup process, same, same usage, uh, re really very little differences between the two. I have a question on the Azure Authenticator with the MFA. Uh, I've heard the question asked, can that be extended to on-prem as well? So I know out of the box, you can MFA with your Office 365, but what about back down to an on-prem app? Yep, absolutely. Uh, so there, there's several different ways to integrate on-prem apps, to, depending on uh, you know what the app is, what type of app is. Uh, you know, a really common one is to integrate MFA with your VPN, so that users have to use uh, MFA to to remotely connect into your network via VPN. That can absolutely be done with uh, with Azure MFA, usually with the Radius extension, uh, and it's again same same setup and integration as it, as it would be with with Okta. So then there's also uh, Okta FastPass, which is a way to, to sign in with just the phone notification and not having to type in a password at all. Azure AD has passwordless authentication. They do exactly the same thing, same setup, the same, same way they work. So you can sign in without a password. 
Um, there's Okta adaptive authentication, which lets you set up uh, different rules and policies for when you want to allow or deny authentication or when you want to enforce MFA. So you, know, you can set up different rules based on the user's location or IP address. Um, Microsoft has the same thing with Azure AD conditional access, where it works very, uh, very similarly. Uh, then there's Okta Access Gateway, same thing as Azure AD Application Proxy. Uh, that, that's another way to integrate uh, MFA and SSO with uh, legacy on-premises applications that don't support uh, the newer uh, SSO protocols like, like SAML. Uh, you can use Azure AD Application Proxy or Okta Access Gateway to publish those applications, make them available over the internet without a VPN connection, secure them very well with, with MFA and uh, conditional access policies. Uh, so those, those products work basically the same, really exactly the same between Okta and, and Azure AD. Um, then there's a, a, a tool called Okta Advanced Server Access, uh, and again, Azure AD um, has uh, replacements for that, or that, that tools for about securing uh, RDP and SSH access for administrators into servers. There, there are several ways to do that with, with Azure AD. Um, and then obviously both have uh, robust logging capabilities where you can uh, you know access and view your sign-in logs. You can you know uh, you know search your sign-in logs, generate alerts for different things that you may want to want to uh, see. You can have uh, connectivity into a SIM solution like a Splunk or Azure Sentinel. Uh, you can do that with both Okta and Azure AD. So um, they both really have all all of those you know similar capabilities. Hey, I wanted to go back to the Azure AD has multiple options for securing RDP. Sometimes we get these customers where there's maybe a, um, a business analyst who wants a SQL server on an Azure virtual machine. And it's not something they want to tie to the rest of their network. It's just something for them so they can crunch data and run reports. And so we go, okay, we can put an Azure virtual machine there for you, but how are you going to connect to it? And, you know, we don't uh, recommend connecting RDP over the internet to Azure. So what can you do with Azure AD to secure the RDP access there? So in that in that particular scenario, if if it's a you know developer accessing a, a developer environment uh, hosted in Azure, the the best solution there would be what's called Azure Bastion, which basically allows you to do RDP access through a browser, uh, which means that MFA is enforced. The user has to log in with MFA. Your MFA policies are applied. Your conditional access policies are applied. It's it's logged to the same way it would be logged as if they were logging into any other you know Office 365 application or any other enterprise application. Um, so it's it's uh, you know, very secure and very easy set up, uh, very easy to set up solution. Okay, good. So those are the things where they both kind of have similarities and mm -hmm. Okta is almost exactly like Azure AD in most cases. 